Daijaha, everybody. Welcome back. We're back at the world famous Sawgrass Mills Mall, one of the largest outlet malls in the world. All right, guys, as we enter into the mall, I'll let you know a little bit of how this video is going to be reformatted. The mall is actually five like distinct areas. So we're going to shoot each one of those, give you a little history of the mall in, in general, and then a little bit on each of these sections. So we're going to start off with a map of the area and then we'll go from there. All right, we're coming in right here. And one of the main sections is the white loop. And we're going to do that in a circle. And then we're going to go to the east end. This is the blue that you see down here. And then we're gonna go do the yellow. This is all part of the original mall, along with the oases and the colonnades. Those are outdoor malls. We're gonna shoot that once the lights go down. I think it's gonna look much better. All right, guys, let's get started on the L loop. There's a Chinese or Taiwanese uh, night market candy. Ni hao ma? Hello. Opened in 1990, Sawgrass Mills Mall quickly became one of the largest outlet malls in the United States, offering a unique shopping experience here in South Florida. Originally developed by the Mills Corporation, the mall has expanded over the years, now boasting more than 350 stores, making it the go-to destination for both local and international shoppers. With its distinct alligator design, a nod to its local uh, location near the Everglades. The mall blends retail, dining, and entertainment, drawing millions of visitors annually. Today, it's just not a shopping mall, it's an iconic part of the South Florida landscape. Uh, yeah. As we continue along the loop, also known as the L or the white section on the map as one of the mall's more popular areas. It was designed to resemble the curve of the alligator's tail, and it features an exciting mix of outlet stores and entertainment options, uh, catering to a wide range of shoppers. You'll hear you'll find flagship stores like uh, Nike or Tommy Hilfiger, all offering unbelievable deals. The loop's also known to be the home of the Oasis dining area, it's a perfect spot for a break between shopping sprees. And whether you're hunting for fashion finds or looking for a place to eat and grab a bite, 
Loop is a must visit zone in the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Features of this video is since I'm doing it in the five sections, I'm going to walk a little bit slower and I'll try to feature a few uh, stores or highlight some cool information along the way. So let's go. See you on All right, on this reshoot, we're here out on a Thursday night. It's not nearly as crowded as it was last Saturday, but it's still a fantastic mall. Let's keep going through the L Loop. We're going to bypass the yellow. We'll do that on its own loop. We're going to continue around on the L loop or the white loop. So let's keep going.
Bye. That's the oasis behind us. We're going to do that a little towards the end. Let's continue on the L loop or AKA the white loop. Started here and now we're here. We went around and back. Thank you. 
guys let's continue on to the blue east wing let's go Movement to the blue or the east zone. This section of the mall is a shopper's paradise as well, known for its discounted prices. The east zone is home to some designer outlets like Michael Kors, Hugo Boss, and even Kate Spade, making it the go-to spot for luxury fashion enthusiasts. Uh, beyond clothing, you can also find like the Swatch Store and GameStop, which are great for families or those looking to score some entertainment gems. With its sleek, modern layout, the Blue Zone combines luxury shopping with a family-friendly atmosphere, offering something for everyone. Okay. Say, say, ni hao. Say, ni hao. Yeah.
Hello. Oh, I just taking a picture. Thank you. Just completed the blue loop. We're back here. We're gonna go pick up the yellow loop that you see here. Let's go. All right, guys, we gotta shoot a little more undercover mode. We got busted by security once. Next up is the yellow or west zone of the mall which is all about variety, blending top brands with unique specialty stores. Uh, this section is home to outlets like Adidas, Old Navy, and The Gap, offering fantastic deals on everyday fashions. Uh, for something different, you can explore the Marshalls Mega Store, where you'll find everything from home goods to accessories at great prices. And whether you're stocking up on wardrobe staples or hunting for unique finds, the West End Zone delivers a diverse shopping experience for every taste and budget. Be sure to check it out. There's the security guard. We gotta hang back.
Oops, that's the security guard that busted me right up ahead. So let's go into stealth mode. All right, we caught up to him again, so we're going to slow down. Let's keep going. We started here and we're now here. We're gonna work our way back to the colonnade, one of the more upscale outdoor sections. Let's go. So far, we were able to elude the security guard. They're off to colonnades, number four out of five zones. Let's keep checking them out, guys.
All right, guys, it's a beautiful night to walk the outdoor mall. The sun is just starting to set. I think the shops are going to look spectacular. For those of you looking in the ultimate in luxury shopping, then you can't miss the Cullinade outlet here at Sawgrass Mills Mall, which offers an elevated experience. This open air section is home to high end designer brands like Gucci, Prada, and even Versace, where you can find premium goods at outlet prices. The Cullinade's upscale atmosphere, complete with palm lined walkways and chic storefronts, reminds you of Rodeo Drive and sets it apart from the rest of the mall. It's a perfect destination for fashion forward shoppers looking to indulge in luxury without breaking the bank. Whether you're after designer accessories or couture fashion, the Colonnade Outlet is a must stop for you guys. Kind of designed to mimic like Worth Avenue or Rodeo Drive, all within the compound of the main mall itself. I thought that guy yelled was a security busting us, but just some random shopper. We came out of the mall here. We walked down this way. 
and we're now here. We're gonna go down, we're gonna work our way back, and then we're gonna come check out this part here, and then we're gonna to head to the last part after that.
All right, guys, that's the end of the colonnade loop. We're off to Oasis, one of the original outdoor entertainment zones. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're just getting ready to enter the Oasis. Let's go check it out. That sunshade is something new from when this was first built and greatly appreciated. Of course, no visit is ever complete without heading out to the Oasis here at the mall, a vibrant hub for dining and entertainment, offering a refreshing break from shopping. This other open air section features a variety of popular restaurants like the Cheesecake Factory and even the California Pizza Kitchen, perfect for grabbing a meal with friends or family. It's also home to the Regal Theater and IMAX Theater, where you can catch up on the latest movies. So whether you're looking for somewhere great to eat or just a little bit of entertainment, the Oasis Zone provides the perfect escape at the heart of the Sawgrass Mills. All right, we entered it right here. We walked up, we're right here in Cheesecake Factory. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna work our way back out. Let's keep going. Hanging out with my buddy, Mr. Sawgrass. He's in his favorite sports team gear, the Florida Panthers. Let's go Panthers. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's it. We didn't get busted by security a second time. That's all five sections of the incredible Sawgrass Mills Mall. Till next time, guys, Dai Zai Jan. See you all in the next video.